In reality, you should all be heading for intermission right now. But because the program is a little bit short and we need some filler material, I have been brought out here to conduct a, a piece of shit, basically, ladies and gentlemen. It begins with LA artist Mark B, a longtime Zappa appreciator who felt compelled to anonymously bestow upon the Zappa family a Christmas present in 1988. Carved out of a surfboard, Beam's kind of a mutant fish arrived unannounced at the offices of Intercontinental Absurdities and eventually found its way to Frank's basement. Yeah, it'll be on CD probably about February because uh, there are eight shows total and uh, we've mixed the first three. Got five more to mix and then I'll uh, edit the best parts of it together and put the CD together and it should be ready by February. Food gathering in post-industrial America. 1992. Well, the um, level of performance was very high every night. But still, for uh, a CD, you want to make sure that you've got as many um, perfect sections as you can edit together to make it work. It's the same as doing any other kind of classical edit. The album is uh, finished, by the way, and uh, it's scheduled for a March release. What, what, what are you going to be calling it? It's called The Yellow Shark, which was the name of the concert series. Well, the think of the evening as an evening of entertainment with a lot of different aspects to it. And one of the pieces that will be included in the evening <clears throat> is a piece called Outrage of Valdez, which was originally used as the theme music for a Cousteau Society um, documentary about the oil spill in Alaska. So that's as close as you get to film music in the, in the evening. Well, they came to me kind of at the last minute before they were doing this show, and uh, they asked me to do the score. Uh, it was a very, very, very rushed job. It was very difficult because I finished it just before I got on the plane to go to Moscow in January. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I did it, but it was very hard. What was it about? Because we haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's um, about the Valdez oil spill in Alaska. And... Uh, they traced all the different reasons why the oil spill occurred and how the Exxon company says they're cleaning up and they're not really cleaning up. And it's kind of interesting. Zappa constantly snuck in musical references, quotes, and parodies, Matt Groening explains. Once he played me some music he'd written for a documentary on the Exxon Valdez disaster. Did you hear that? He asked me in the middle of this beautiful Sinclair score. He'd hid the what do you do with a drunken sailor melody. The title refers to our special little toxic town. You know, Times Beach, the dioxin infested town that was the first major US environmental disaster where they had to move everybody out because of all the dioxin. tell you that uh, there is a live version of Girl in the Magnesium Dress that's fairly astonishing. <clears throat> and a um, uh, number of the pieces that are receiving world premieres. It's a very nice album. The title derives from the fact that sometimes 
during rehearsals of the 72-73 band, while I was giving instructions to other members of the group, Ruth Underwood would curl up underneath the marimba and go to sleep. It got the title because I didn't think that it fell into the normal descriptive orbit of what string quartet or string quintet music is supposed to be. At each of the concerts, there will be two improvisations that have a theme. One of them is called Food Gathering in Post-Industrial America. I shouldn't tell you all the material that's in there, but one of them is called Food Gathering in Post-Industrial America. Uh, now, since I'm an American composer, I have to write about the world that I come from. And uh, America is now moving into its post-industrial phase. A country that is basically occupied with consuming products that other people make and providing services for each other. In other words, a lot of lawyers and a lot of hamburger flippers. So the, the, the texture of the piece is based on um, uh, little acts of desperation looking for things to eat. whether you know about that piece. You ever heard about that? Well, the lyrics are interesting because what I did was, uh, the, the lyrics were written by the U.S. Justice Department. Okay. There's a card that people who land in the United States have to fill out. Americans never see this card, but if you are from any other country, you have to fill this out before you land. Okay. And it's the most unbelievable, paranoid piece of uh, bureaucratic nonsense that you've ever seen. I bet. And uh, so I set it to music, and that will be included in the Yellow Shark CD. I think that the Yellow Shark pretty much exists in Andreas's imagination. As you can see, this is not a shark. <laughs> and I played him the uh, finished Yellow Shark CD the other night, and he was astonished and proceeded to call the other members in Germany and tell them. Well, it turned out, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> 